Hello, in this demo, we're going to look at using EPG labels. EPG labels allow us to share contracts while restricting connectivity between different EPGs. In this example, we will see a demo to select the external EPG using labels. We will be using a topology such as this one. We will have two zones that are already using labels to segregate within an application profile using the same contracts which clients can connect to which servers. So for instance, we can see that client one can connect to server one because they share the label green and client two can connect to server two EPG because they share the label blue. In the same way or in a similar way, we're going to have two external EPG. One EPG provides general internet access, whereas the other EPG provides access to a single host, the 5072549, that will be a proxy server. So some uh, endpoints will be able to access the internet freely, whereas all other uh, endpoints will have to go always through the proxy. However, we want to provide access in this case uh, using a single contract, a contract for internet access that allows all traffic in this particular instance. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the client EPGs configure with the label internet, the same label that we're using on the external EPG for internet access. The other client EPG is using the same label. The servers, however, will have to go through the proxy. And therefore, the server EPGs will have the proxy label, which will be used also on the internet proxy external EPG. With this design, we will be able to once again zone who can access what. So we will have one external L3 out, one L3 out interface with two external EPGs, internet access, internet proxy, and we will be saying that the clients can use the internet through this uh, EPG, whereas the servers can use the internet through this other EPG and therefore be restricted. This is accomplished while maintaining the zoning that we had done in previous examples for green and blue and was illustrated on the first slide because EPGs can actually have multiple labels and you can configure whether you want to match on all or one or at least one. In this case, we see, for instance, the configuration for client one with two labels, green and internet, and we can see the XML configuration where we're adding the consumed relationship for green and internet. Let's look at the demo. So here we have the topology that we have defined in our lab. We are using only two contracts and we are restricting connectivity between client and server one. They cannot communicate with client and server, client two and server two. So client one can only communicate with EPG server one, client two can only communicate with EPG uh, server two. This is by sharing one contract and using labels to zone these applications. And we're going to do now the same thing with external access. So we're going to have a single contract for allowing internet access. And we're going to be using labels to segregate or to select whether we consume from internet access or from internet proxy. These two EPGs are configured with the labels accordingly. So for instance, if we look at the configuration for internet access, we can see that they uh, provide access unrestricted for all subnets and that we consume a number of labels. In our particular case, we will be concerned with internet, the internet label. If we look at, however, the internet proxy external EPG, we provide access with this EPG to one single host, 507.249.32. This is our proxy, and this EPG will establish relationships or will consume and provide contracts with those uh, EPGs that have the label proxy. In this case, what matters is provided because we're providing the contract from the CPG. If we look at our client configuration, in client configurations, we have added the label internet. However, in server configurations, we have added the label proxy. So if we go now to our client one, client one is able to ping server one while client 2 is able to ping server 2 here. The ping is running. Now we're going to see whether they have internet access. For this, we're going to access an external interface, uh, 507.254. Uh, and we can see that they can actually ping. If we go to server 1, however, in server 1, we can ping 249 because that is the proxy, but we cannot ping 
254. That would be general internet access. Let's look at this by again changing the settings on server 2 right now. So if we look at server 2, in server 2 we have not yet configured any labels for internet access. So we're not consuming, um, we're not setting labels for consume contracts or for con APGs with uh, consume relationships. We're going to do that now, but let's first move this and let's start a ping to the proxy and let's start a ping to the other internet address. What we're going to do now is we're going to add configuration here and we're going to set the proxy label. Once we add the proxy label, the relationship with the contract that provides access to the external EPG is allowed. So here we can see that we're actually consuming this contract and that contract is provided by the external EPG that has the tag proxy. So that's why we have connectivity now. So this way we can very easily see that just by changing labels we can minimize the use of contracts. Just with two contracts we have created a policy where we're creating isolated zones inside the application profile and where we're selecting external EPGs for restricting access to complete internet or just to proxy without creating dedicated contracts for this reason. Uh, we can also make these edits through the um, REST interface, of course. In this case, for instance, we have the JSON configuration to add to server to EPG the label for internet access. Once we do it, we will see that internet access is also allowed here. Right now, we can see the label has been added and we can see immediately how internet access is allowed to the external EPG. Thank you for watching.